Hey gang, it's Chris. So I know that I promised to come back this week with video from my vacation, but uh, something kind of strange has been happening to me the last few days. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. So this past Sunday, Liz was out and I was home by myself. And we've been watching a lot of Breaking Bad recently. I know about five years behind. And like most people, we've been watching it on Netflix in four to five episode doses. One of the things about Breaking Bad that really interests me is how it sort of plays two of the United States' worst policy failures off each other, specifically the for-profit healthcare industry and the uh, colossal failure that is the war on drugs that's created this enormous black market in which people can make money from making and selling drugs like methamphetamine. So with a few hours to myself on Sunday afternoon, I decided to draw a little cartoon strip based on this idea. It took me about an hour to write and draw, probably another hour to scan into the computer to color and letter. And the end result is, in my opinion, kind of sloppy and lazy looking, but it was good enough that I thought I'd throw it up on the web. I did the same thing I usually do with anything I created. I put it on my Facebook, my Tumblr, on Twitter. A couple of people on Twitter gave me retweets, a couple of people on Facebook liked it, just the usual thing. A little before lunchtime on Monday, I happened to look at my Twitter traffic and I noticed I had about 50 retweets, which is a hell of a lot for me, and I thought that was pretty cool. A little while later, that 50 was 100, then 200, then 400. A little before I left work, it was around 750 retweets. On my way to work this morning, I realized my little cartoon had been retweeted by Michael Moore, which is just ridiculously exciting because I have a tremendous amount of respect for Michael Moore and the work he's done. At this point, I've lost track of how many times it's been seen. I can't keep up with all the retweets. It's been on BuzzFeed and Facebook, and I don't even know. I think it's somewhere between 50,000 and 100,000 views, but honestly, I don't even know how to look that up. Now, I realize for a lot of YouTubers, that's no big deal. I mean, a lot of you folks are getting like a million or five million or 10 million hits on your videos, but I'm getting like 200 on a good video, and I think my average tweet has something like 10 retweets. So for me, this is like ridiculously exciting. And mostly, I just want to share my incredible gratitude with every one of you who thought my little cartoon was good enough to put in your feed and share with the people who follow and respect you. But I have learned a few things that I thought were interesting, and I just wanted to come share them here. First off, I'm sorry that I haven't drawn more cartoons, I guess. Um, I've got a bunch of Google searches for Christopher Keelty cartoonist, Christopher Keelty cartoons. Uh, yeah, that's the only one. Um, I used to draw a lot when I was younger. Um, I still do draw occasionally, but I don't think I've drawn a comic strip in like two or three years, and I don't think I've ever published one on the internet before. So um, I'm sorry, I guess. I'm happy to draw more if you guys enjoy it, so um, I guess speak up. Secondly, you know, a cartoon is really just a visual joke. It's not meant to be like a damning case against American healthcare, but a surprising number of people have wanted to engage me with the same old tired arguments about healthcare that we've been hearing for, geez, I don't know, 10, 20 years at this point. I will say that every single time someone tells me about the incredibly long waiting lists in Canada or Europe or the UK, I make a point of looking and seeing where that person's from, and 100% of the time, they're from the United States. And so far, 100% of the people from Canada and the UK disagree with that point. I've also had more than one person point out to me that I'm not the first person to cross this comedic ground. Specifically, several of you have shared a cartoon from several years ago about uh, Breaking Bad in Canada that's made up of stills from the show. I just want to say two things about that. Uh, one is it's very funny, and two is I absolutely didn't see it before I drew my cartoon. I take plagiarism and intellectual property really seriously, especially in the creative arts, and I would never steal another artist's work and put my name on it, nor would I take an idea from someone else. It just so happens two of us watching Breaking Bad had very similar ideas. Of course, I'm about three years behind, but that's probably because I just started watching the show. I also thought I'd take this opportunity to point out to my viewers that I don't monetize my blog or my YouTube or my Twitter or my Tumblr or anything else that I do online. You might have noticed you don't have to sit through ads to watch my YouTube videos and I don't hawk products and the only ads that are on my blog are ads for books that I've written and magazines that have published me. And that's a very conscious choice. See, I've never wanted to be someone who produces a blog or YouTube videos for a living. No disrespect to those of you who do. I mean, I watch a lot of your videos and I enjoy them a lot. But I've never wanted to be somebody who produces content as link bait or with the intention of going viral. That's not how I drew this cartoon, and that's not how I intend to produce any of my future work. My long-term aspiration is to make it as a novelist, and I do view my social networking presence as an opportunity to make connections with new readers. 
But first and foremost, I see the internet and YouTube in particular as a conversation between human beings. I'm gonna go on doing what I wanna do and what interests me. And those of you who enjoy that will hopefully stick around and at some point in the future, maybe buy a book. But I'm proud to say I don't make any profit off the kind of traffic I've been seeing other than those few people who choose to go out and purchase something I've produced. And that means I'm free to just be proud and really flattered that I produced something tens or even hundreds of thousands of people connected with and incredibly grateful to those of you who shared it. So that's where I'm gonna end the video for today. Uh, I will link to the cartoon in question just in case you haven't seen it and you're wondering what I'm talking about. And since we've been talking about my social networking preference, I will say um, I would love it if you want to follow me on Tumblr, subscribe to my blog, follow me on Twitter. Uh, I do have one book, a uh, short story for sale on Amazon. It'll cost you 99 cents. Um, don't feel pressured to buy it, but if you'd like to, I will certainly be grateful for uh, my share of that. I will be back next week or maybe sooner, depending on how fast I can edit video. Until then, thanks for watching, thanks for thinking, and just thank you for making me feel a little bit internet famous.